6.53 on a Wednesday morning, and perhaps because we are still in the early part of the year, you are looking at some projects or plans to enhance your upcoming year. Well, one such program might be the Youth Ambassador or even the Young Leaders of the Americas initiatives, both led by the U.S. Embassy. And to tell us more about that, we are joined with the Public Affairs Officer, Ms. Kristen Michener, who will elaborate. Good morning and welcome to the No Morning Show. Thank you so much for having me. I'm delighted to be here. We are delighted to have you because Thank we you. truly believe that we need to make sure that we make the best of 2023. The past few years have been a lot. Been and these programs, as you were seeing from your own personal experience, can truly enhance young persons' experiences. Tell us how. Sure. So thanks again for the opportunity. I'm, I'm very happy to be here. We have two programs that are open for application right now. One is the Young Ambassadors Program, Youth Ambassadors Program, and the other is the Young Leaders of the Americas Initiative. They target two different age cohorts. The Youth Ambassadors targets youth 15 to 18 for a 10 to 14 day exchange in the United States, and that'll be this summer in August. The other is the Young Leaders of the Americas initiative known as WILI, which is a Caribbean-wide initiative to send young entrepreneurs between the ages of 25 to 35 for a four-week program in the United States next spring. The deadlines are coming up. Mm -hmm. All of the information about the exchanges is on our website and on our social media. We are on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook, and all the information is there. And I would note that the deadlines are coming <laughs> February 15th for the Young Leaders of the Americas initiative and February 27th for the youth ambassadors and as you said in the introduction I was myself an exchange student at the age of 16 and there's a direct line between that experience and my sitting here talking to you today exchange really opens up people's eyes to the world we want people Trinbagonians to have an immersive experience in the United States and there's no cost at all to participants for these experiences beautiful yeah, the I'm US sure government. a few ears went up when you said that part. It's because. absolutely free to participants. The, the US Embassy pays for everything, for the visa fee, for the airfare, for maintenance when you're in the United States, and for the, for the exchange experience. So let's distinguish the two. Because yes, Because there are, as you said, two different mm -hmm. age groups that we look at. Mm -hmm. The younger cohorts, in terms of their experience, can you walk us through what that would be like? Sure. So they are going to go um, for 10 to 14 days to the United States. And what we're really looking for is is youth who have leadership potential. So we want to really to, to try to grow their leadership potential and who show a, a commitment to civic responsibility and civic engagement. So they're going to go to the United States. They will be accompanied by an adult mentor, a Trinbagonian, who is already um, actively uh, employed in the education sector, either a teacher or a guidance counselor at the secondary school. And the, the kids, when they go over, they will have courses on civics, on American government, on um, community engagement. They will engage with non-governmental organizations and learn how we do things in the United States in terms of becoming involved in our community. When they come back, they have an obligation to implement a community-based program here. Yes. So the, the kids can come from anywhere in Trinidad and Tobago, but mm -hmm. they'll choose a community. And it might be environment is their issue, and it might be literacy, and it might be teaching, and it might be anti-gender based violence or something right. we had a cohort from 2020 it was very committed to environment they're still together they just did a beach cleanup at Las Cuevas perfect so so we're seeing whatever they've learned being put into action when they get to exactly exactly and was this you mentioned an adult in terms of being a uh, part of the crew that will yes. be going to mm -hmm. the US and that means that there is an application process for the adults as well? Exactly, yes. So the adult mentor will accompany, because these are minors, mm -hmm. they will uh, accompany the, the youth to the United States and be with them for the for the entirety of the program. Um, and of course we do a background check to you know make sure everything is copacetic with the adults, but right. it will be someone who is already engaged in the, in the education sector in Trinidad and Tobago. Right. With the students, however, in terms of the requirements for them, what do they need to supply? So they need to have an outstanding academic record. They need to show leadership potential. Um, you do have to be vaccinated to travel to the United States, fully vaccinated against COVID-19. You have right. to be eligible to get a visa. So we will help with the visa procedure. It's a, an exchange visa. It's not your regular tourist visa, but you do have to be eligible for that. Um, yeah, so all of the information for the application is on all of our social media, and I encourage people to follow us on social media because we have lots of exchanges and lots of exciting activities throughout the year right. and lots of good content um, that's always changing and always new. And um, Well, yes, granted that you said you have a lot going on throughout the year, we know the second 
uh, Youth Ambassador <coughs> Program is actually taking place a little bit later on. You're mm -hmm. saying for the 2024? Yes. So the Young Leaders of the Americas Initiative is for entrepreneurs ages 25 to 35 when they will travel, and that is in the spring of 2024. Right. And we're also looking for six um, entrepreneurs who have at least two years of experience under their belt with a social enterprise or a company in Trinidad and Tobago. And they will be paired with a, an, a social enterprise or a company in the United States that has some strength in a business skill that these entrepreneurs need. So there's an extensive questionnaire and application process that they go through. And what, th what, the, what, will, what they will gain from the program is strengthening their business skills. They might need help in marketing or in public relations or in communications or in finance or attracting capital or something like that. Mm -hmm. So the program will pair them with an organization that's not necessarily in the same sector that they are, but that has that strength and that business acumen and skill that they need to acquire. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Now, good. this also would have its own application process, I imagine. Exactly. And deadlines for this particular course. Is this one the is 15th, the 15th. 15th of Ooh. February. It's coming up so a little bit right sooner. Right after Valentine's. Don't forget your gifts, but also to do it's your applications. True. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Where would you be able to do that? Give us the websites and the pages we could go to. Sure. So um, the main embassy website is tt.usembassy.gov. It's very simple. We are on Facebook at uh, USA, TT USA, sorry, okay. TT USA, and on Instagram and Twitter, US in TT. All the information is there. Twitter is going to be my place to go because it's a great way to get potent information, mm -hmm. just like you've given us this morning. Now, ultimately, once you enter into these programs, the former, you explain that we are expected to return to Trinidad and employ some sort of learning. Absolutely. Similarly, with the latter, in terms of the older entrepreneurs, is there a similar expectation? So the great thing is that the entrepreneurs have engaged themselves into an entrepreneurship hub that the alumni of this program have founded, and they support each other. And they sometimes use our facilities to meet. We're happy to offer our conference rooms. We're happy to offer our expertise. And it's really wonderful to see the alumni of this program reaching back to the new cohorts and helping them grow their businesses. It's a really exciting um, entrepreneurial initiative on their part. It sounds beautiful. And yes. it takes care of not just one generation, but more. Exactly. Making sure a great deal of longevity is there. Exactly. We want the people to participate to become agents of change in their communities, in their families, and within their, their cohort and, and certainly within the wider country. Well, becoming an agent of change is a beautiful way to begin the year. And so you can visit the websites, the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and other pages to make sure that you have your chance to enter either your youngsters or yourselves in the Youth Ambassador and Young Leaders of the Americas initiatives hosted by the U.S. Embassy. Mm -hmm. Telling us more about it this morning, I was joined by the Public Affairs Officer, Ms. Kristen Michener, and I thank you so kindly thank for you joining so much. us. And look forward to the other initiatives because you said there are many more throughout the year. Any Anything else we can look forward to? People should absolutely follow us on all of our social media platforms. We have scholarships, exchanges, and programming throughout the year. We have a robust schedule of activities and programs open to the public. And as I said, really great content. You can catch our ambassador um, getting ready for Carnival. We have a Ooh. terrific video of her visiting mass camps. She was at uh, Kuva Joylanders last night. She was at Phase 2 on Friday. Mm -hmm. So and I understand you on the pan crawl. Mm -hmm. I, yes, ma'am, I was. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it just Thank as you. much as we enjoyed having you here this morning. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for joining us. And you guys stick around. We've got more things to add to your calendar or inspire your year ahead right here on the Normal Morning Show. We'll be back.